Well, good morning, everyone. Another cool start to the day here in West Tennessee. But again, gonna be a beautiful day. Sun's already shining. Got a few chores done here at home. Got some feed bagged up out of the bin. Ready to head up the road. Um, bin's getting really low. There's also some, I don't know, some, some poor quality feed in there. We just need to get it out. Um, of course, thankfully, we're giving it to these all these animals out on pasture. Um, the little bit they're getting, it's not making a big difference anyway. Um, yeah, and then hoping a feed truck can come maybe this week, but they didn't sound uh, too optimistic on that. So we're probably gonna go buy some bag feed. But anyway, um, appreciate y'all watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you hadn't subscribed, please do that. But uh, we're gonna load that feed up and get headed up the road. Okay, got the feed loaded up. Got a bag of mineral in the back. Um, that's how we do it when we're in the, in the Jeep, which we could have taken the truck today with where these calves are in pasture. We can get to them pretty easy too. It's dry, we can go just about anywhere in the truck right now. But truck's still hooked up to the hay trailer. So we're gonna go right back to moving some hay. Look at those clouds. It's pretty, I guess. Uh, really, that's what we call that, like a low ceiling, all those clouds this morning. But, uh, yeah, cool today, cooler than it was yesterday. We're late. My phone said 41. Uh, so, borderline where I might say actually cold, not just cool, but I think just like yesterday, we're warming up to right at 70. So, we'll be shedding layers here before too long. But, uh, yeah get these calves taken care of all the animals checked this morning and then uh probably get back to moving some hay uh it's sunday i don't know how hard we're gonna hit it all day today um probably not terribly um just not super pressing to get this hay moved home we want to before it sets into rain and you know in the middle of winter but you know just get getting them getting it taken care of so we don't have to worry about it later um you know, kind of that sort of thing. Bunch of these calves right up here at the road. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, see if they'll follow us down there to the feed bunk and uh, give them a little feed this morning. But yeah, see, you can see their breath this morning. So I think it's it's appropriate to go ahead and say that that we're we're beyond just cool. We're we're borderline cold, but the sun is actually warming up pretty pretty quickly. Okay, I got some mineral again now. They weren't absolutely out. They still had just a little bit of a block in there, but like we say, we always like to keep the loose mineral. Here, here at my parents' place, uh, getting this hay moved this morning. Dad's getting the bush hog out. Get it out. We shouldn't have much clipping in there because we cut most of it for hay, but when he was taking advantage of the fact we already got the, the gates all, um, Open up the horses put away. But I do need to get out and shut this one gate. Um, 
because these are the last two rolls that were over there. Um, but yeah, I think it'll just be three trips off this farm. Yeah, I think he's headed down there. He runs that green equipment. Which we like that green baler of ours. Um, I guess I can't quite afford uh, actual green tractors. <laughs> Maybe one day. Um, but I don't know even if I could afford them that I would. I, the Kubotas have been really good to us. A good time to point out, got the Ag Gear shirt on again. Um, you know, I was wearing one of their kind of um, lighter, you know, warmer weather shirts yesterday. Um, I believe this is what they call the Harvester model. It's um, it's like one of their heavier shirts. Um, they do make button downs and um, kind of more of that breathable, you know, type design that you would wear. Yeah, if you were, you know, in, in 80, 90 degree weather. But I'm really like this guy. Got all sorts of pockets and whatnot for the gadgets. I'm not gonna untuck it, but it's got the uh, little lens wipe down there on the shirt tail. Wipe off your sunglasses. Um, yeah, check them out. Ag Gear Store, I believe is their address. Or just search, or just search Ag Gear. Um, check them out. Good workwear, specifically designed for the farm, for the ranch. about out of fuel. Um, I knew we had some in a truck though. Um, don't know how much. I know the transfer tank is not full. Um, oh, if, it's, if it's enough to get us to even a half a tank, probably not even that much. It'll be plenty to get done here. Um, we just got, got one load on there. Got two more loads to go. Um, and then just got to drive the tractor home. So we don't need much. But, we fill it up, that'd be even nicer. And sounds like we're not gonna quite get to fill it up. All right. But again, that should be plenty. We'll uh, we'll find out when we get back. We turn the tractor back on and see where we got her up to. But go dump a load and come back and get two more. Let's see what that did for us on fuel. Oh yeah. Well over half a tank. We are in good shape. We will definitely get done with all this without any issues there. Uh, we just need to, need to go get the transfer tank filled back up here in a day or two. Push it. Good job. Look at there. Oh, it's going fast. Yep, they roll off down the hill and some of them turn up on their end. Good job. Got one more to go. Can you push it? 
Here, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Right, watch down. Watch out. It's flipping the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah. Where the tires are, where the tires are, I mean, that's that. Yeah. Hey, buddy, that's the last full load, isn't it? Yeah, we got a single bale left up there, which we'll just take it in on the back of the tractor. Um, hey, what you wearing right there? Thank you. That's right, the Vols were off this weekend, but um, our fan hood, fandom, whatever the right word is there, is never turned off. So what do you tell everybody when you wear that outfit? Go Vols. That's right, go Vols. All right, we'll go dump these. Um, so we don't have a ride to get back over here to get the tractor right now. And so we're actually eating dinner over here tonight, so that's what I told him. We'll just ride over here with the whole family and we get done eating dinner and we'll drive the tractor in. And um, then we're gonna be back at home and we'll uh, just have one more farm to move hay off of home. But we're not gonna get to that today. Probably not even gonna get to that in the next few days because when I'm off on Wednesday, we gotta start taking down our cattle pen start getting ready for the um, barn to be built. So that's what we're gonna be tied up doing. That's what we're gonna have the tractor tied up doing. Just moving all that stuff out of the way. But we're gonna get these unloaded, find something else to do. Which we need to get a bite of lunch. How much does the cow water cost? Wow, he wants to know how much it cost. Um, well, I'm not entirely sure because we gotta put some concrete in it once we figure out exactly where we want it. And so that's kind of yet to be determined. Yeah, no need for us to have to drive through, buddy. We'll just stop right here at the gate. But yeah, checking out on the cows here at home. They're happy to be out here in the creek bottom. Um, get them a little, a little good grazing. Um, we still got these bottoms here and then across the creek over there. They have not been back on since we kind of officially started stockpiling. Uh, they're looking to be in good shape. Um, so we'll leave them alone. Uh, I know. We'll be uh, weaning these calves um, and then going ahead and getting rid of some open cows. Um, you know, just pretty much all the ones that aren't bred. There might be one or two that for some silly reason we decide to keep. Um, but anyway, I don't touch that. Come over here, buddy. But we will wait until we've got the new barn put up and the working facilities back reassembled before we do that, just because we'll need those pins to hold those calves. Um, and then once we've let them wean for probably a couple of weeks right here, we're, we're essentially fence line weaning. They'll be right there where they can still be nose to nose with their mama. Um, then we'll move those wean calves up the road um, to the other farm um, where they'll spend, well, really the next year for the most part, um, when they'll be sold next year's yearlings. Um, and at the same time, we're gonna be selling a few of those calves here in a couple of weeks. Um, actually, two weeks from today, we're planning on shipping those, kind of tentatively planning on ultrasounding the heifers um, for pregnancy to confirm that pregnancy that we, that we determined with the blood test. but. Yeah, we'll let those in here in these these next bottoms probably here within the next week. But so we, we still got plenty of mineral in that fader. Oh yeah, we do. We ain't this one in a long time. Well, there hadn't been any animals in here. We had the bulls in here, but it's just those three bulls, so they don't consume a whole lot. But um, I think Wilson and I, I'm a, I'm a poor deer hunter. I think I've got three cell cameras. Um, going to put out for pictures of the deer. I've only got one actually out. So I need to get the other two out. Um, seen just with the weather change and it being cooler, it's like a lot of our bow hunting friends have uh, 
punch their tag this weekend. Um, I, I just haven't bow hunted in probably 10 years, just don't have the time. But here in about another month, we'll be able to got, start hunting. Um, I have to double check and even see when our dates are. I think because of the CWD, I'll have to double check this. But once black powder or muzzleloader season opens statewide in Tennessee, the CWD counties can actually rifle hunt because I haven't even black powder hunted in several years. So once I can take a rifle is when I'll go. Um, but that may be just about exactly a month from now. But anyway, we're gonna go try to get those cameras put out. Um, it's about lunchtime. We got T-ball practice this afternoon, ain't that right? T-ball season's going pretty good, isn't it? Going pretty good. I, I don't know what our exact record is, but um, we have a winning record. Um, getting down to, I think we just have two regular season games left. Um, we have a good record. It's not great, but it, but it's not bad either. Um, we're better than average. We're, we're over 500. But anyway, we're going to stop the video there. What are you going to tell everybody? Beep, beep, and God bless. See y'all next time.